This lecture is about Fox Wire Day. We know that Fox viruses are the largest among all viruses and they are large enough to see under light microscope. It includes genuses like Orthopox virus, Parapox virus, Molesky pox virus and Etapox viruses etc. And these uh, genuses are associated with uh, most of human diseases. Then about the morphology of pox virus. They are largest among all viruses and they are most complex viruses because their structure does not fit into either acrosohedral or helical symmetry. They are brick shaped or ellipsoid in shape. Then about the envelope. Externally there is an envelope made up of two lipoprotein membranes outer and inner with the ridges arising from the outer membranes. In the figure we can see the ridges are arising from the outer membrane. And the envelope encloses a core and a two structures of unknown function called lateral bodies. We can see the core and the lateral bodies, two lateral bodies. It is about the structure. Then about classification. The important proximities causing human infections are depicted in the figure. Here, in the genus Orthopax virus, the value of Axinium megipox, cowpox are and buffalo pox are very important and in parapox virus the species of and pseudococcus have clinical importance very much then in mollusky pox viruses the mollusca contagiosum which has many skin nodules and it has a very wide distribution then genus atapox virus include species tanapox and yabapox they cast rarely skin lesions in humans they have less importance then about smallpox virus or variola in details it is the first disease to be irradiated from the world it has characterized by highly contagious severe exanthema or rashes then the portal of entry is through mucous membrane of upper respiratory tract and it has an incubation period of 7 to 17 days and mean incubation period is about 12 days. Then about the characteristic feature of smallpox rashes. The rashes were deep seated and all rashes in one area appeared in one stage. That is the evolution is very slow. Then they have a centrifugal distribution. That is pan and sole and external surface were affected first. Then about the reasons that made radiation of the pox virus successful. The variola or smallpox was exclusively human pathogen. No animal reservoir are present. Then the only source are patients and there was no carriers. And the case detection was easy due to characteristic appearance of rashes. Then the subclinical cases were not transmitting diseases. Then global smallpox irradiation program was launched in 1967 by WHO with a strong international cooperation and intense effort the disease was wiped out nearly after 10 years highly effective live vaccine events have an important role in the radiation program freeze dried form was used then about the lab diagnosis the specimens collected include scrapping from the rashes direct detection in the scrapping from rashes we get intracytoplasmic inclusion bodies called Paston bodies and in electron microscopy brick shaped appearance with a biconcave DNA core was observed. Then in egg inoculation, the characteristic pop formation is seen on chorea allantoic membrane of the chick embryo. In the figure we can see the pop formation. Then about treatment. The cases is to be treated in the past with vaccine immunoglobulins, antiviral drugs like medicine and pseudophobia. The vaccination. Live vaccine vaccine was highly effective. It was given as a single dose between 1 and 2 years of age. As an attenuated live virus was used, adverse reactions were common like mild vaccine induced rushes. Then about cowpox vaccine. It was discovered by Edward Jenner and it was used before vaccine vaccine were available. Then about variolation. It was first attempt to 
providing artificial immunity against smallpox. Then about vaccinia virus. Vaccinia cross reactive with the variola and antibodies produced against the vaccinia are protective for variola. It is not pathogenic to human or it produces only milder skin lesions. And it produces inclusion body card, urinary body. And in case of variola, it produces pastern body. Then on CAM, we can uh, observe larger hemorrhagic necrotic pock lesions than variola. Then ceiling temperature. It is the highest temperature beyond which the perk formation is inhibited on CA. It is higher for vaccinia virus that is 41 degrees Celsius than for variola virus. It is 38 degrees Celsius for variola virus. The vaccinia produce plaques on chick embryo tissue culture. Then about molluscum contagiosum virus. It is obligate human pox virus. Then about clinical manifestation. First about the lesions. It produces pink, purely one like lesions. It is amplicated with a characteristic dimple at the center. And the lesions are characterized by lack of associated inflammation and necrosis. And it forms singly or in clusters. And then about the distribution. The lesions are found anywhere on the body except on the palm and so on. And the genital lesions are seen in adults. Then about transmission. Children are commonly affected. They occur infection by direct and indirect contact like uh, by barbades or common use of towers, swimming pools, etc. Then rarely sexual transmission has been reported in young adult. Then it is self-limiting. The lesions disappear in 3 to 4 months and there are no systemic complications but sometimes lesions may persist for 3 to 5 years. Then in HIV patients, the disease is more generalized and severe. Then about the lab diagnosis. The molluscum bodies are intracytoplasmic eosinophilic inclusions seen in screen strapping stained with a histopathological stains. Electron microscopy and PCR can be used for a clinical confirmation. Then it is not cultivable. That is, it cannot be propagated in tissue culture or ego in animals. Then about the treatment. Surgical removal of the lesion by ablation is the only way of treatment. Pseudophobia has shown to have some efficacy. Other pox viruses of human importance. It includes monkeypox virus, or virus, pseudococcus or paravaccinia virus, cowpox and buffalo pox virus and tanapox virus. First about monkeypox virus. Here the reservoir is rodents and monkeys and the transmission occurs through direct contact with infected animals here the human to human transmission is very rare then the manifestations include milder vesicular rashes then smallpox vaccine is protective in monkeypox virus infection then about orf virus it causes contagious osteoid dermatitis or mothsore then about pseudococcus or paravax new virus it causes milkers nodules then about cowpox or buffalo pox virus it causes pox like lesions then about tenapox virus, it causes nodular lesions.